Even when we started, it had a sense of orchestration. It was targeted at certain players, and there was a sense, but we didn't want to entertain that, you know. But certainly, we have a concern that it could be orchestrated, and we, it's unfortunate. And for us, I think the message we want to have is to say to our supporters, those who are card-carrying members and non-card-carrying members, is that they need to rally behind the team. This is the most critical time. Let their voice be louder than those who are not supporting the team. You know, let them rally behind the players, uh, be a positive and, and energizing force uh, behind the team. Look, I think one of the issues around the stadium violence also and stadium issues, we've raised the fact that someone could don in a team's jersey and come in there and be disruptive, you know, and then the team gets fined and you're not very clear whether it's your supporter or not. Mm. So it is a concern, is it orchestrated or not? But certainly, I think it's become entrenched in the South African footballing culture. You know, and it's it's unfortunate that it's there, and we feel we need to root it out. And we're saying true Amakosi supporters do not be their players. You know, it's like a family member. You you want to always be supporting members of your family. I think players have learned to be strong and resilient. You know, this is part of the journey. Soldiers go through uh, uh, the battlefield and have to deal with the challenges. But uh, certainly, we are constantly uh, encouraging our support, our, our, our players, to to be strong. But like anyone, anyone is human. You know, you you you. I'm sure he has his own experiences and difficulties around it. But it's not even just about him, it's about all the players who've experienced it. And, and we're saying that it's something that needs to stop. This is not the first time mm. this is happening, especially this season. Are you feeling that you are fighting a little bit? No, I think we'll continue to, to, to be strong about it. I think there are, and I must commend, there are supporters who are out there who support the team, who uh, come dressed in their regalia uh, at the stadiums early, singing and, and really there. And we must, we must also say, uh, you know, this is the, 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 there are a lot of supporters who are standing behind the team. That's important. And we want to acknowledge those people and want to say we want to see more of those who have the mindset of, of, of supporting the team, being at the stadiums and continuing that support. And like I said, being the louder voice at, at our home games. As someone sitting in those forums now, it'll be an opportunity to raise these issues and to raise the impact that I have seen firsthand on what it does to players, uh, what it does to the team morale in general. And you're very right how it's affecting even our national team and how we can work uh, together with the league. Because as much as we can have a campaign, like you say, it affects other clubs, um, it affects uh, the national team. It's important for us uh, to have a concerted effort uh, and to work jointly with the league to make sure that we uproot this issue, but also we educate our supporters, you know, educate them on what being a true supporter is about. I must say there's a lot of love from Pulukwane supporters. Uh, the spirit in Pulukwane, I mean, one really feels at home in Pulukwane. I, I have to be honest, and, and the issue really is here in Joburg. The Gauteng supporters have, have been the ones who have been uh, perpetuating this thing, and it's something that we, again, have to look at. What is happening in Gauteng? What are the issues here in Gauteng that need to be addressed? But Pulukwane and I, we have gone out and, and thanked the supporters uh, many, many times. Uh, everything we've done there, very successful road shows, successful uh, CSIs and just interaction. You've seen the atmosphere at Peter Mukaba Stadium. Uh, the attendances have been, have been great. So the support in, in Pulukwane has really been good. Well, certainly it's, it's, it's speaking to our branches, both in Gauteng and in other provinces. Uh, we use the platforms all the time to speak to the various branches, uh, starting with our branch representatives, obviously, to also work with us, because it's not something we as a club can deal with alone. Um, they have to work with us as well. And then, yes, I think it's uh, we've been doing an analysis and we'll continue to look at what, what are the dynamics here in Gauteng, you know, and, um, and then sit down with the different support structures